It's now a lot easier to get all kinds of information about the Denver Police Department. The department published a dashboard online today with details about internal affairs investigations, officer involved shootings, even call response times. Nine News reporter Jennifer Meckles walks us through it. Alex, this new police chief, Ron Thomas, says there's a few things going on here. He says it's his mission to increase public trust, but also this dashboard is partly a response to a recent state law. That law passed back in 2020, requiring all law enforcement agencies to start using body worn cameras and to report some of this kind of data, like the use of force to the state every year. So DPD says this new performance and transparency dashboard will not only satisfy that mandate, but also let the public access this sooner than their deadline and more easily. I mean, I hope that, again that it adds a layer of transparency and um, and that allows people to, to see what we're doing, see that we're holding ourselves accountable, see that we're measuring response times and doing everything that we can to reduce those response times. There's still more coming. Coming soon to the dashboard is the use of force data. Those are incidents where there wasn't deadly police force, but police use some kind of force. I asked the chief if we can expect that to include cases during the protests of 2020. He said yes. We also asked if DPD will be open to public feedback on this dashboard. Say somebody spots an error or they have a question about the content. Chief said yes. Again, he is open to that. And there's actually an email, Alex, on the dashboard website for that very purpose if somebody wants to contact the department. Okay, we'll make sure we get that um, email on our website. Yes. Can't imagine any more time better for transparency with all the lawsuits they've been dealing with. Uh, better time than never. Right. Yeah. Jenny, thanks.